Just like when we made our website live and then we were able to unpublish it, we tried to build in a lot of good stuff to make this as user-friendly as possible. And we are always, always looking for new ideas. So if you have ideas, please let us know and we will try to incorporate them. So for example, um, garlic soup, chicken soup. They look great, but you know what? I want the chicken soup to go above it, garlic soup on the menu. So all I do is I just take my hand and I just click it and I just move it up. And so now the chicken soup is on top and the garlic soup is on the bottom. And let's say I wanted to add a new uh, category under our lunch menu, um, dessert, for example. So I'm gonna type in dessert and click save. And now I can add menu items under dessert. I can remove dessert. I can rename dessert. So I'm going to rename it because dessert doesn't really fit in with our, our title and our name of our restaurant and whatnot. So we're gonna call dessert sweet meat. <laughs> Um, and you know what? I actually don't really want sweet meat on there anyway. I changed my mind. So we're just going to remove it. And I'm going to remove it. Um, and say, for example, you want to add a whole new menu. Like say you wanted to start doing breakfast. So you could just add in a new menu. And we could just say breakfast. And we have meat and we have non-meat. And we would just click save. And once again, we can always, under the breakfast, we can rename breakfast, we can remove it, we can add new categories, and then here's all of our um, categories under breakfast. Now, when we're in individual um, spaces, say for example, we want to add a picture. So we'll go to dinner, and I really love the way my pot pie looks. I just go over here and I click on the little picture and I browse for a new one in my computer and there's a picture of a pot pie and we press open and then we upload it and then we're going to have a picture of a pot pie next to the menu item which is obviously really fun because a picture tells a thousand words so we're going to go to dinner and check it out and there it is hello pot pie once we have our pictures if we want to add more pictures we can certainly do that I'm going to talk about changing the sources of where we get our food for example, say that our chicken person had um, a really great year and decided he wanted to start doing turkeys or sheep or something else. So we need to get our chickens from someone else. So we go into edit and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on chicken and I'm going to take it off of Harnoy and I'm going to say Two Creeks Organics. And I'm going to click update. And I'm going to then say save. Now, because we have chicken all over this menu, it's going to give me a, um, an opportunity to change the chicken in, of, in all of the other parts of the menu. So have we changed the chicken in the soup? Yes, so I will leave it clicked. Have we changed the roast chicken? Yes, so I have leave it clicked. Have we changed our chicken stock? Yes, because our chicken stock comes from the chickens. So all of these are clicked yes, so I'm going to go to save. If I wanted to take off maybe one of them, I would just unclick just like that. So I'm going to leave that clicked and I'm going to click save. So all of our chicken has now gone from Harnoy to Two Creeks Organics and when I scroll over, you can see it says Two Creeks Organics. So there we go. And this is, a, as I said, we are more than always, always looking for feedback. So please let us know how we can make this better for you. Thank you.